Right, so now we are going to continue and we're going to um, be checking if the two new passwords that the user specifies, so password and password again, uh, actually match. And obviously this is relatively uh, straightforward. What we want to do is we want to say if dollar underscore post password is equal to dollar underscore post password again and that's all we need to do now we might want to take into consideration users that maybe accidentally place an extra space at the end of where they've entered their password um, we could really say this for any um, any data so for example if um, if a user was to enter um, enter a space um, if the user was just to say enter password and then accidentally press the space key and enter another space then you know that would be treated differently to something that was the same string but with, with without any extra white space and you'll see that we've used empty here to check empty values um, empty is great because it takes into account any white space as something being empty but here we need to be a bit more careful so I'm gonna say if trim password is equal to trim password and what trim does is it just removes white space from the left and the right hand side we do have L trim and R trim but I'm just going to be using trim uh, so if the trimmed password i.e. a password with any extra white space on the left or right hand side is equal to the password again um, or is not equal to the password again uh, what do we want to do? Oh, we'll do a double equals there what do we want to do? Well, we want to append an error because it's not, it's not, um, they don't match. So, uh, your new passwords do not match. Perfect. Um, so, else we want to do something in here. So, what do we want to do? We want to check else if something. And that is whether the, um, the password is greater than six characters. And that's important. Um, so, um, let's just say, um, if the string length of the posted password is greater than six, or is no, we say is less than six, uh, then we do another error. So, or we append another error to this error array. So, we'll just take the same um, text that we used here. So, your password must be at least six characters that's fine again you see we're copying and pasting which is somewhat bad but you know we can we can fix that at a later date um, and that looks like it's it so let's just go ahead and test everything out just to make sure there's no errors or anything I'm gonna go ahead and enter an incorrect um, current password and two uh, matching new passwords now your current password is incorrect notice that we haven't returned an error um, saying you know your your two new passwords are, are too short or anything like that um, uh, let's just go through some of the logic here so we are initially checking uh, the password now if the passwords do match then we go in and we look at these if they don't match we only ec ec or, or append one error so if they do match we then go into these checks now the first check is whether the passwords match if the passwords don't match we do this now the reason we've got this else if is because we can only we we only then need to if, if if the two passwords match we only then need to check one password field otherwise we would have to do and and string length of po posted password again is less than six so as long as they match we know that they match so we can only check we only need to check one of these so let's go ahead and try this again with the correct password uh, I'm just going to choose say a and a change password your password must be at least six characters let's go ahead and enter password and two different uh, new passwords your new passwords do not match go ahead and enter my password again and this time choose a new password so something like password one password one change password no errors so we now are at the stage where we've checked more or less all the possible combinations of entering different you know different uh, things in fact we've covered them all I believe um, and then that's it. We can now go ahead and you know start to change the user, actually change the user's password. So 
Now let's go ahead and just output any errors that we see and, and you know how, how we've done before. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So we don't need to do this up here. We need to come down and do this under the header. So we need to output any errors that we have gained uh, up here. So I'm going to say if. Now what do we need to check? We need to check if um, the uh, posted data is uh, empty. So let's just go ahead and reference this. So we've got here, if empty post is equal to false and empty errors is equal to true, uh, then we register the user. Otherwise, we output any errors. So um, we'll take the same logic as we have done here. Uh, so this is um, if empty, if the uh, data that's been posted is um, equal to, oh, sorry, is equal to false. So if we have, if we, if we have posted data, so if it's not empty, and if the errors are not, if the errors are empty, so if empty errors is true, this means we have posted the form and no errors. Okay. Otherwise, what do we do? Well, we said otherwise if empty errors equals false, because otherwise else could mean um, that we've. Uh, that we have, um, uh, well, essentially, this is you know this would just um, this would just uh, sort of do something even if we hadn't posted. So uh, let's go ahead and just say else if, and here we're doing else if empty errors is equal to false. So there we go. So um, if um, if that, then we just output errors. So this is oops. This is if we've oops. This is if we've got no errors. This is if we have errors. So we echo output errors. Remember we have our output errors function that we created earlier, and then we pass through an array here. So errors. Okay. So here is where we post stuff. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and echo. Okay. Otherwise we output our errors, and uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and refresh and see how this works. Click change password, and it says uh, fields marked with an asterisk are incorrect are required and your current password is incorrect so we're echoing out um, you know these two errors here um, if we go ahead and enter all of the, the correct data so password one password one uh, it just says okay so we'll you know we'll just be um, we'll just be read, uh, changing the user's password and then redirecting them here Okay, so now what do we want to do? Well, um, we'll leave that to the next part of this uh, piece of the tutorial. Uh, but what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be going and creating a change password function, passing through the user's ID, passing through the new password that they want to change this to, and then we're going to be redirecting and showing the user a success message. So we'll do that in just a moment.